we turn this over. The part that really had me going is once I took all the screws out and pried the sides away, I still couldn't get it apart. Then I happened to notice this little panel here. Ha ha, there we go. Here we've got the rest of the screws underneath the little panel, so don't don't miss that. And uh, once you pry the rest of the sides away, I think it'll come apart pretty easy. Yeah, that turned out to be correct. I just had to take out these two additional screws here. And here we go. Oh, by the way, be careful of this little wire here. Not a ribbon cable, but uh, it did attach to the uh, bottom of the frame here. All right, next step. Okay, this one here is pretty easy. The screen and everything comes right out here, and if you look inside, you've got your wiring. Uh, turned out I didn't have to take out these two screws on the back here. I could have left those in there. I'll show you. In other words, here behind this label, you can just leave those alone. Anyway, so if you pull out the uh, wire here, very carefully, of course, rock it back and forth gently, and you've got your your light connections on the end there. Anyway, just be careful. I've got almost all the wires out. I can't pull the screen off, though, the way they've got this thing set up. I've got to loosen up the circuit board because the screen is just attached and there's no plugs I can access without taking off the circuit board. Finally, after taking all these screws out on the circuit board, I was able to unplug all the lights here and the screen is now free and uh, I have easy access to the uh, power supply board. This power supply board also has the uh, inverter board on it too. There's your output transformers for your uh, fluorescent lights. Anyway, My without ESR even... meter, which I am anyways, I already see a couple of bulge capacitors there. And uh, I'll write down which, which they are, so if you happen to see this problem, you'll know. I check all the capacitors, whether they look bad or not, because a lot of times they will be bad, even though they don't look bad. You know, it's surprising, even though these two capacitors were bulged, one of them actually had a charge in it. And I should have just charged everything here before I worked on this board. I'd automatically assume it couldn't possibly be charged with a bulge like that. I don't know if the camera picks it up. But anyway, they were bad. Uh, so put the new ones in. They're a little bit bigger. I went with 25 volt rather than 16 volts. So you can't fit them in there. It's pretty, but good enough. As you can see, everything's good. That's all it took was those two capacitors. This guy's back in business. I'm letting it run on test for all just to make sure, but it seems like it's fixed.